I was proud as punch to do my annual stint as the MC of the Genderlee State School Fate, with the dreaded role of judging the best dressed kids competition alongside Milton Dick, the federal member for Oxley. As always, I stocked up at the cake and jam shop and I'd like to thank Preppy Elizabeth for the gorgeous unicorn cupcakes that I bought for dessert that night. The Genderlee State School Fate is a highlight of the um, annual centenary calendar. It's nothing short of an extravaganza. It has an annual theme. This year it was Myths and Legends. It takes months of preparations with hundreds of volunteers and has fireworks to finish. Speaker, I'm not aware of any PNC day, I'm happy to be corrected, but I reckon they should have a whole year. This there you go. Excellent. Well, I couldn't find it on Google. I'll take that interjection from the member for Mansfield. This year was Monique's first year as fate coordinator after Cara Lee spent many, days, uh, many years at the helm and she did a wonderful job. It was, as always, such fun and I want to congratulate the PNC President Andrew Morrison and his whole team for putting on an absolutely stellar event. But Jindalee State School are far from alone in organising wonderful events that are on par with any gala extravaganza in the CBD. Coming up this month, local PNCs all over Mount Omni are hard at work, going the extra mile for our kids. Jamboree Heights has a wine and jazz night coming up, organised by Trista Lyle and her hard-working team. Corinda State School has a spring festival this month, and the mighty Mount Omni Special School celebrates their 40th anniversary of their Early Childhood Development Program with a Family Fun Day next weekend. This term, Dara State School PNC also opened their tuck shop for the very first time and was overrun with more than 50% of their students ordering spag bowl for lunch on the first day. Thanks also to, so also to the PNC for giving me some takeaways for, from that. There's a saying on the wall at the Jindalee Bowls Club, volunteers aren't paid not because they are worthless but because they are priceless. This is incredibly true of all my local PNCs and our community owes them a debt of gratitude for their commitment to our kids. So you can imagine how proud I was to be back again on Tuesday last week with the Minister for Education, Grace Grace, who toured one of the fantastic STEM classes being conducted during lunch for our kids. The Minister knows that STEM is providing the jobs of the future and it starts right in the heart of Mount Omni at Jinder Lee. Can I also take the opportunity to congratulate the wonderful teachers at Jinder Lee who have been awarded with the um, key lead teacher roles under the leadership of Megan Rogers, who is doing a wonderful job. Speaker, the schools of Mount Omni are the hub, the heart and the home of our community. I look forward to welcoming the Minister again to continue to showcase the amazing staff, students and volunteers of my Mount Omni schools. Thank you, Member for Mount Omni. I call them